Today we're going to talk about a rapid deployment ridge line. I'm Dave Canterbury with the Pathfinder School and Self-Reliance Outfitters. We have a bowling knot tied in the end of our line. We're using white rope for this demonstration to be able to show you contrast and be able to see these knots in use. We're going to take our ridge line and throw it between two trees. We're going to take this bowling knot, wrap it around this tree, and pull a loop of line through that. Basically at that point you've created a running bowling and you're going to drop a toggle or a tent stake in there and just cinch it down. And that's going to stay in place for you. But when you want to remove this or take your shelter down, all you have to do is undo this instead of pulling all the line back through the loop. So it makes it much faster and easier to do it this way. Then we're going to come over to the other tree that we're going to use and wrap the entire line around that tree. Now we need a tensioning device that we can pull this cord tight so that our shelter doesn't flop up and down in the wind. To do that, we're gonna use a slip knot. So we're just going to turn an overhand loop in the line and pull it back toward the tree and pull our line through that to create a pulley system. And as we pull on that, it's going to tighten the line down. We're going to pinch both lines between our hand, reach over with a loop and grab it and create a half hitch, just like this to lock it down. Now we have a static ridge line that's always going to stay tight. <clears throat> if we need to leave or move the shelter up and down to negate things like wind or rain, all we have to do is pull it out. It comes undone very easy and if we pull on this slip knot while it's still attached, it pops right out of the line. So we leave no knots in our line. So again, we're going to come around, step off from the tree, turn an overhand loop, and create a rope tackle or slip knot, pull through, tighten down, reach over the top, grab a half inch and pull it down. Now we have a tight line. To this line, we need to add two prusik loops. We have two prusik loops here made out of paracord. What we're going to do with this is we're going to take this loop and put the prusik knot in the middle. We don't want the knot at the top, we don't want it at the bottom because we don't want the stress or force on the knot itself. We're then going to take a bite of that line over the rope. We're going to pass the entire loop through that three times. Just like this. And snug it down and dress our knot so that everything lays neat and tidy on the line. What that's going to do is it's going to give us something that will move freely up and down the line. But if tension is applied in either direction, it won't move. Now we can put a toggle in this, just like this, and we can place this in the corner of our tarp and pull against it in either direction, and as we tighten it down, it won't move. That'll give us a tight tarp line. We want two of these on the line. Now, we leave these on the line when we're done. When we take our tarp down, we slide them up to the end. We can then take our line down, very easily pull all the knots out of the line, collect our line, pull our spike out, move these straight to the top where the bowling knot is and leave this on the line and then gather up our rope in whatever fashion we choose to store our rope, just like this. and it's ready for the next use. 